Hi, this is Zach Mir from Zach's Traders Cafe with a look at some bulletin board hero stocks on Wednesday the 20th of July. Starting off with Golden State Resources, looks as though we're finding some support here at the old uh, April resistance, 0.06 pence and above the 200-day moving average at 0.05 pence, which is a positive. Uh, probably all we need to see now is a clearance of the 20-day uh, moving average just above uh, current levels around 0.075 pence. Uh, to trigger a new leg to the upside and uh, 0.12 pence over the following month. If you're cautious on the shares, wait for the 50-day line to be cleared. That's the blue line there at 0.78 pence uh, or uh, RSI 50 versus 46 at the moment. Only really back below uh, the 200-day line currently indicates the uh, recovery or ongoing recovery argument. Uh, on to a stock which uh, didn't behave itself uh, very well a little while back. Um, uh, Pedro, uh, Petro Matad rather, we had that uh, break to the downside, breaking the floor of this channel. Looks like the shares are still trying to find some support, maybe along uh, the lines of uh, that I've just drawn. Uh, probably you'd want to wait for clearance of RSI uh, 50 versus 47 at the moment, and maybe even the 50-day uh, moving average at 2.7 pence. But uh, we have the signs really that uh, this below 2 pence was a bear trap for the shares. And if that is the case, then uh, there could be a, a reasonable run up over the next week or two. Uh, Milestone Group is next. And uh, basically, we're looking at a situation where uh, a bit similar to the uh, Golden Saint scenario that we had the, uh, we've had the breakthrough, the 200-day uh, moving average uh, earlier in the year. Support coming here towards the 200-day line, 0.49 pence. And really, while above that, a retest of 1 pence is possible over the next uh, couple of months. Uh, the buy trigger there would be a break back above the 50-day moving average, uh, which were uh, on a weekly close basis, which it looks like we'll get, uh, and that should uh, give decent momentum uh, over following weeks. Uh, price channel there uh, along the lines uh, that I have just drawn, implying uh, an eventual 1.2 pence target. Uh, Nyota Minerals is the next contender. Here we've got... Uh, Stock which has been um, difficult, but it looks like a bear trap uh, situation here. Uh, the old low there, uh, 0 0.047 there for the beginning of the year. And uh, really while above that, uh, we've got the chance of a recovery uh, back towards the best levels that we've seen in April and May at uh, 0 0.16. Uh, if you're cautious on this situation, wait for a clearance of the 200-day moving average at 0 0.07 pence. But a nice kink in the RSI window there the, with the RSI trace. And uh, that should provide uh, reasonable moment momentum over the next few weeks. Stanley Gibbons uh, has uh, offered traders uh, quite a ride, but probably not the right type of ride that they uh, were looking for. But just worth looking at the shares now as they uh, break the 50-day uh, moving average. Um, looks like a bit of an exhaustion gap res reversal and really while above the 20, uh, the 50-day line rather, 12.76 pence. We could see a retest of uh, that former April peak at 18.87 pence. Stop loss uh, well below 10 pence at this stage, which, which was effectively the June um, uh, intraday support zone. On to strategic minerals. Uh, here we've uh, been um, blessed or cursed with a range uh, between the 200-day uh, moving average and uh, 0.5 pence over the last uh, few months. Uh, nice end of day close uh, above the 50 day moving average yesterday uh, and that gives us or suggests that we are back in play as far as the upside is concerned. Nice rising trend channel can be drawn uh, there from uh, the beginning of March heading towards 0.6 pence over the next month. RSI bounced off the 50 level as well so it looks as though this time we will at least see a return to the top of the range uh, if nothing else over the near term. Finishing off with something which has been um, which has been one of the best rises of the recent past, but also the best behaved. Uh, the previous call here was that above uh, 30 pence uh, shares of sound energy could head to 45. We're just uh, about uh, 4 pence away from that target now. And uh, even though the RSI at 89 is very overbought, uh, still a chance of getting that uh, 45 pence target over the next week. Uh, any dips towards uh, yesterday's low at 35 pence now. Uh, regarded as a buying opportunity, probably the stop loss just below that. That's it for me. More updates at the same time tomorrow.